It's been called the worst treatment disaster in the history of the NHS. In a peaceful protest outside the Department of Health, people with haemophilia and their families called for a public inquiry into why, during the 70s and 80s, patients were treated with contaminated blood. And now, one man who lost his father, aged just four, says he's uncovered damaging new evidence, which appears to show the government knew of the risks months before making them public. The documents that show just the most um, blatant, in my opinion, disregard for life that I think is um, possible. Jason regularly travels from his home in Coventry to the National Archives in London, trying to find evidence relating to his father's death. Now, he says, he thinks he's found it. This memo sent by a Dr. Moore to health department officials specifically refers to the link between AIDS and Factor VIII, which is the blood plasma treatment designed to help blood clotting in haemophiliacs. The letter states there was conclusive evidence of this link by April 1984. But it says nothing from the government made that public until the December. During this time, Jason's father continued to receive the treatment and it's when he was diagnosed with HIV. Is that a good bike? I was four years old when my dad died. It's been very tough, you know, growing up without my dad and, you know, missing him. He's now one of around 200 people involved in group legal action against the government, claiming it was negligence which led to the infection of thousands of people with HIV and hepatitis C. Among those at the march in London was James Webb from Redditch, whose grandfather was also given contaminated blood. Just really just after some form of like justice, because uh, there's nothing really ever been done about it, and now it's getting to the point where it's uh, yeah, trying to yeah, sweep it under the rug, I think. Without some sort of um, accountability, there's nothing to stop this sort of thing happening again. For James, for Jason, and for so many other families touched by this scandal, all they have left now is memories and family keepsakes. But what they really want is justice for their loved ones. And if there is a cover-up, they say it's time the truth was exposed. Charlotte Cross, ITV News, Coventry.